Welcome everybody to today's hashtag meet the funder session, Respond, Repair, Recover, Local Pilot Fund. Today we're joined by Claire from Your Trust, who's here to explain a little more about the Local Pilot Fund, how you can be involved and apply. Over to you, Claire. Hi everybody, thank you very much for taking the time um, to come and meet me. Um, so the Local Pilots is funding that's been drawn down from Sport England. Um, and there was a realization in Sport England that the traditional way of funding what you would probably call traditional um, sports activities wasn't necessarily um, producing the outcomes that they desired. Um, basically in terms of people being more active right from the basis. So, you know, getting people off the sofa to actually do something more active um, and moving more. So they wanted to really look at the way that they distributed the funding. And so that's how the local pilot came about. I'm just gonna check that I'm still here because I can't see anybody. Yes, you are. Oh, right, sorry, there we go. You're back now. Don't know what happened there, little blip. So as part of the local pilot funding, there is a fund called the SIF fund. Can you start the presentation for me, Law? Yep, sure. So if you go to the uh, next slide, please. So yes, yeah, so the SIF funding, which is the community interest uh, fund, is part of the local pilot funding. And it's a new approach to building a healthier, more active communities, as the PowerPoint says. Um, and like I said, it's encouraging people to move more um, in their everyday activity, but it could be about play. So it's not just about physical activity, it's also about play as well. Um, it's grants up to £5,000, so £2,000 comes from SIF funding and then that's topped up by Action Together um, from the RR and R funding, um, which is very uh, gracious of them. So it's £5,000 and that's the maximum grant. What we're looking for really is test and learn. So this is an opportunity, if you've had a project in mind um, and you, you thought to yourself, I'm not sure I can risk applying for the funding because I can't be certain I'm gonna deliver the outcomes. That's what this project's for. So if you've got something quirky, something a bit different, um, the, the actual taking place, the actual the fact that the project's taking place is more important than actually whether it's success or not, because it's all about reflection. Um, what has worked and what hasn't worked and understanding why things don't work. Um, as, as important as why things do work. Um, so we're looking at new, innovative, creative ideas. It's very flexible and adaptable. Um, so if you um, try to attract a number of participants and it's gonna take time to build that relationship, local pilot and SIF funding gives you that time to spend with people, to build the relationships up, to build trust, and then be able to deliver the project. Um, we do encourage match funding, um, but that's in terms of perhaps um, core staff times or maybe facility hire. Um, you know, it's, it's important that you identify any match funding because that goes towards the uh, achieving the overall outcomes. Can I have the next slide, please, Laura? So who, who can benefit from the funding? So there's three main categories. It's children and young people out of school settings. So it can't be within the school day. Um, adults, and this is an interesting group because generally a lot of the funding has been attributed to probably the over 60s. But this in particular is the 40 to 60 year olds who may have a long-term health condition now, but they could actually be at risk of a long-term health condition. Um, and people out of work, but also people in work presently, but could be at risk of becoming workless, which I think is probably key at the moment with the cost of living crisis. Yeah, so we're looking about trying to address um, social isolation, inequalities. Uh, it's about being inclusive, and it's also about focusing on the community. So is there a need from an identified need from the community for the project? Next slide, please. So how, how do you go about um, applying for the funding? Well, first of all, you need to be a member of Action Together, which is free. Um, <clears throat> the great thing about SIF 
is you can actually have um, the fund, a successful funding bid already from the um, Repond, oh, I always get this wrong now, Repair, Respond and Recover Fund, as well as applying for a SIF funding. So, you know, you could have a maximum of £10,000 there. So that, that's a great point. Um, but the first stage really would be to have an informal chat with Sarah and myself, um, talk through your project. Maybe we could um, give you some views on how you can make it more local pilots or whether there was any areas that we felt, you know, wasn't necessarily how it fitted, but you could go on then to apply for the 3R funding as well. So it's the simple uh, Action Together application form, which you submit to them. Um, and if you are successful, um, we would like reflective feedback, not formal feedback, would, you know, we'll phone up, have a chat with you, get some reflective feedback um, throughout the project. Um, and just to note, you know, obviously there's the logos, logos that we'll need on the marketing material um, to promote the uh, project. So, as I said before, we're looking for something quirky, something that's got um, maybe a story to it. Um, Lorna, you can start, uh, Laura, sorry, you can stop um, pre presenting now. There we go, I can see some people. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's about looking at um, something different, something that's maybe got a story or has got um, a hook on it. And the funding can be used for a number of items. It can be used to support core staff. Um, it can be used for equipment. Um, it can be used for transport. If you've got a group that you, want, you need to transport and the transport is the barrier. Um, maybe it's a walking group and um, wet weather gear would be the barrier. You know, we could have, you could have a resource, a library of, of, of wet weather stuff. So we're looking rather than funding maybe a traditional football, weekly football session, we're looking at something um, that's different than the traditional sports. So we may fund uh, a weekly football session, but instead of paying for a sports hall hire, so each week, say 50 pounds or something, we'd ask that you use the playing fields during the summer holidays. And then that amount of funding could then go to support the participants in a purchase of football boots, shin pads, or even maybe a personal care package so that they could um, shower, you know, et cetera afterwards. So it's just looking at that project to see how it can be different than just a pure um, traditional sports funding. And I've got some um, examples, which um, I'll, I'll do a couple of examples of successful uh, applications so far, and then um, some that are in the pipeline that we've worked with, and they're now in the process of going through the Action Together process, and the, um, they're at the Friends panel stage. So one of them is Dream Arc, and it's a walking session with donkeys in Failinge Park. Um, donkeys are renowned as gentle exercise, and the project is about um, supporting people who are socially isolated, may have uh, mental health um, issues. It's about building confidence um, and giving uh, the participants a purpose to walk. Some people need a purpose to walk. You know, the actual walk itself isn't defined as a purpose for them, but actually, if it's to visit the donkeys and walk alongside them, um, again, it makes them feel safer and gives them a purpose. That's one of the um, projects that we've supported. Another one is for the 40 to 60 year olds. And we're working with Middleton pop stars who traditionally work with children and young people, but they're actually going to be working with the 40 to 60 year old age group. And it's um, creating a dance uh, group from the local community. Um, they're going to devise the dance routine. So looking at um, the memory, um, keeping memory. It's about learning songs. It's about um, creating music. And there's also that social aspect. And then the hook at the end is a performance for family and friends, um, costume making. So it's about developing um, self-worth and also developing their skills in um, dance routines, songs, um, and costume design. So that's um, a project running in Middleton. 
So that's a couple of the successful ones. And then a couple at the moment that we've got in the, uh, which we've passed to the friends panel to Mark, which we've supported is uh, Maverick Lab, which is combining learning English as a second language through music and dance uh, and song. Um, it's breaking down cultural barriers um, through dance and understanding um, of, of individual cultures and what richness that brings to local communities. And then the third element is it's about empowering people to look at their local environment in a mindful way to try and uh, address issues or seek answers uh, from their local environment. This very much is a test and learn project. Um, and if it is successful, it will be taken forward to RBH for possible future funding and exp expansion across the borough. But this very much is a test and learn pilot that the outcome isn't determined. Um, and, you know, it, it is um, a seed funding to, to look and see what happens with that. <clears throat> Another one is uh, Recovery Public in Hayward. And this is a 12 week multifaceted programme. Um, the participants are um, either recovering um, addicts or have uh, mental health issues um, or, or they could have had uh, gambling issues. But the idea that they would, they don't feel safe obviously leaving the, the security of their own home because they may bump into somebody from their old um, contacts and they don't want to get involved in that environment again. So it's about bringing them together as a group, walking with a purpose to either the local market or the local supermarket to purchase seven agreed items, um, which form part of a healthy meal package. And um, this will be su supplemented by um, some gardening of fruit and veg that they'll be doing at the centre. Um, and from this, once they've developed that social network, it's then about accessing walks along the 471 bus route. Um, so it's about, again, socialised isolation, food poverty, healthy cooking, confidence, learning how to use public transport, and then um, seeing what there is out there in the local environment that they can access uh, for free. Um, and then the last one is... Um, some self-defense, a self-defense course for women and girls, which is a 12-week course, it's th theory and practical. And the outcomes are to form obviously social buddies um, and the group once they've um, had the 12-week defense course, the pathway then is to go to the local parks, looking at how they can access the park safely, looking at safe walking routes to the park and also to local shops um, and looking around the park to understand, um, you know, where, where the areas are safe, where they have may have concerns and to work through those concerns. So that's kind of some of the ideas. I would say in terms of the physical activity element, sometimes it's, it's you know, by stealth. So the actual main purpose of the funding may not actually be the physical activity, it may be something else. But one of the outcomes is that they are more physically activity and they're moving more because they, they've been able to build their confidence or their social group. So that's really an overview of what it is uh, in a nutshell. Um, so um, yeah, open for um, any questions. Thank you, Claire. Um, I think it's a good idea to show the application form, the priority on there. Yeah. So I'll just quickly show you our application form, which is where you would apply for this, this pot of funding. Um, take me two seconds. Can everyone see that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's our, our normal response repair recovery application form that's on our website. Um, I'm sure many of you who have applied for normal RR have seen this before. Um, so the bit, if you want to apply for this funding, um, it's on the priority section here. Section two, your project, you need to be just ticking just this one priority here, um, and that's it. So that's, and then that'll get processed through the moving more in everyday life, which um, Claire's been talking about. Um, I can also send you a copy of that application form following the session as well. Um, but yeah, um, open to questions, comments. I'll just pause the recording.